Hey guys, this is Gutsy here bringing you another video. This one is going to be on how to play Shadow Demon mid. Um, it's nothing amazing. It's nothing, um, you know, unique. It's not like a Gutsy's way. This is simply just Shadow Demon mid. Uh, the first person who really put it in the spotlight was Topson uh, at TI. I can't remember if it's TI 8 or 9, um, but I'm pretty sure he was against a Shadow Fiend and he did really well with it. He got a lot of kills. Because nobody's really, nobody expects this to be a Shadow Demon mid at TI, but I mean, that's how you win games, right? I don't even know if they won that game. They might have even lost it, but the point being is it did well. It did its job. Shadow Demon is supposed to crush early and mid game, and it falls off coming into the late game. But the good thing is, if you have other cores, like a Spectre or something, um, you could basically turn into a really farmed support. So even if you fall off, he's still very useful, because he's got some very uh, critical abilities. I like to pick Shadow Demon mid when I'm fighting actually some un really difficult heroes to control. So I find Shadow Demon's really good against Alchemist. You could kill him before he ha hits level 6 quite easily. When Alk hits level 6, you can't do anything to him. Um, but also, you usually are able to force him out lane, which forces him to do his jungle stacks. It just slows down his farm a bit, which is nice. And you could transition into a Spear Vessel, and with your ultimate, your purge, it just... Alk's really not a big issue to deal with until later on in the game, so... You know, he's good for against heroes like that. Shadow Demon's really good against Zeus mid. Uh, there's other heroes. It's simply because the purpose of Shadow Demon mid is to use your Shadow Poison to basically bully out heroes out of the lane. Because it's such long range, which gives you a massive range advantage. So any difficult heroes that you really can't think of a mid to go against them you know like razors and stuff like that shadow demons the hero to go because he he definitely bullies them pretty easily he's got the best range in the game in my opinion so i'm just going to show you how to play him so we'll unpause the game go up here i'm going to show you the level build so i'll get a bunch of levels your first level wants to be shadow poison because if you go to runes early game i'll show some clips at the end of this video you get first blood uh, pretty easily with two other teammates, so you want to do that. And then all you're doing is maxing Disruption and Shadow Poison. You'll think Soul Catcher is good because it just removes a big chunk of health, but uh, really the the key to kills on Shadow Demon is positioning. You just want to be able to get as many Shadow Poisons as possible. And if you imprison them, uh, you can get closer to them to enable more Shadow Poisons rather than just something that removes a bit of HP. So you'll go Q next, E next, Q, E, you'll get your alt. And that's basically what your level 6 looks like. You'll max these two before you get any soul catcher. And then for the soul tree, I usually like to do range. Uh, as a core, you would think intelligence is good, but you really don't need to last hit. You could farm with your shadow poisons too and stuff when you have enough mana regen. So it's better to go cast range to, just so that you could get your purge and disruptions off easier. Uh, shadow poison damage obviously is self-explanatory. Shadow poison cooldown self-explanatory because that's basically your alt basically is shadow poison it's the main ability you're going to be focusing on and uh the next one it could be either or i like to go two charges of disruption it's the most common option uh because if you get a scepter you'll have charges on your alt so you just basically are that like i said really farm support late game where you could just create a lot of illusions and purge a bunch of people but I mean, damage is sometimes good if you really need to burst. Like, if only one of their heroes is annoying on the enemy team and you really just need to kill that one hero, then obviously you'll just want to go purge instead. So, that's uh, your abilities for items. Uh, I like the double nulls. You start off usually with a bottle, though. So, we'll buy that bottle first. That's going to be your first item, other than, you know, your basic components. Your starting gold will look something like this or something like that uh, but then you'll upgrade into two nulls after the bottle like this uh, I like to go against magic heroes like Zeus I like to get a raindrops and then I'll get boots of speed I actually rarely go magic one on this hero I don't think it's that great even though you're in fights for a while but it's up to you this is kind of what your starting build is going to look like you'll want to upgrade those to an arcane boots uh, I got a rain my bad arcane boots uh, and here's the cool part about Shadow Demon. So, most of the items you're going to go are going to require the Point Booster or Vitality Booster. I don't even remember what it's called. We're going to check it out here. 
uh, energy booster. Okay, so most of the items you get will be energy boosters. So as you're building the items, the first one is going to be the Aether Lens. See, it has the energy booster. So you buy this, this, you disassemble, you unlock combining, you have that. Then you're going to do it again because the next item you're probably going to want is uh, Octarine Core because, again, it's all about the Shadow Poison. And when you're casting that with the decreased cooldown talent, it's literally every second you can cast this ability. So, uh, Octarine Core is next, which will have the booster that will go back in your boots and you disassemble. And then after that, I like to go on Aeon Disc. This is kind of what Thompson does uh, even recently, 2020, he does this build. Um, it's really good. It just you're always gonna stay alive, basically, if you're keeping your distance, and you're always like you're just every second. It's literally a second cooldown. If you're the the ultimate scenario um, for neutral items is you usually want the scope because it's super big range. Look at that range on your alt. Even demonic purge is ridiculous range. Well, I haven't equipped it yet, but now I have. So there you go, and there you go. Pretty freaking huge range to be using this and this. Yeah. The, old, the other item that's really good is the cooldown one, which would be, I think it's a charm. Quickening charm is pretty good. Your middle tower is under attack. It's just super good. Cool. But the ultimate quick cooldown one, sorry, there you go. The ultimate quick cooldown item, and actually probably the best item to go, period, on this dude is do all neutral items where is it uh, okay let me find it here it is spell prism i'm sure one of these is good but i like spell prism on this dude. very fast cooldowns on all your abilities you're all about cooldowns range and you know early game mana stuff like that so what other items could you go? If you're fighting Rickies, you'll obviously need to go for staff so that you can get a smoke. Uh, and it gives mana. The, the rest should be pretty self-explanatory. Um, I shouldn't have to explain that. This is basically a bit Shatter Demon. Uh, you could stack camps. That's something that's forgotten on this dude. You could just go near a great way and stack him with poison from long range, which is good. Like I said, lane dominance. Look at that range. You have up to here from standing on your own for complaint to kill trees or whatever. With that being said, you'll always want to have lots of clarities. I find throughout the whole game I'm popping clarities. Oh if you're fighting a hero like Zeus where you can't really do that without keeping super long range, don't be afraid to buy some mangoes. It's just all about constantly command. casting Shadow Poison and winning the game that way. So, uh, hopefully this helps. Uh, I really encourage people to pick this hero. I've won quite a bit on him. and. I'll preview uh, a few clips. Middle Tower is under attack. <laughs> 